You've installed the Android 12 build per preview, but what if you want to go back to the stable Android 11 build? Well, in this Android Basics video, we're going to show you how. Thanks for watching 9to5Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Just a few warnings up front though, you should definitely back up any important files on your device if you are hoping to go back from Android 12 to Android 11, as your device will be wiped at least a couple of times throughout this process. It's unfortunately a necessary part of this method with no way to bring your files without doing so. We also need a few things first before we can get started. As we've noted, make sure you've backed up any sensitive data and information though before proceeding past this point. To initiate the entire downgrade process, you'll want the latest Android SDK platform tools. We've left a download link in the description for you to grab them. Our advice is to download them somewhere easy to find like your desktop. You'll also want to unzip these files so you can easily access them. Be sure to download only the right factory image for your specific Google Pixel as you will encounter issues if trying to use an incorrect build. Again, we will leave the correct links to each device down in the description below. Now on your Pixel, you'll need to make sure OEM unlocking and USB debugging are enabled. You'll need to enable developer options by heading to settings, system, about phone and tapping the build number in your device settings page several times. This will bring up a little pop up to confirm that you have it activated already or have the activated the feature previously. With that done, go back to the system settings menu. From there, you can simply tap developer options. Here you'll need to activate OEM unlocking and USB debugging so that we can proceed. With these activated, plug into your PC and ensure to enable connections from your computer to your device when the pop-up appears on your Pixel screen. Now you can navigate to the location of your unzipped platform tools folder. Again, we always strongly suggest that you put this on your desktop and we can open a command prompt window within the specific platforms tool folder by typing CMD into the address bar. This opens up right where we need to be with no issues. Enter ADB Reboot Bootloader to get into Fastboot. Once your device has booted into this mode, enter Fastboot Flashing Unlock. Now you'll get a potentially scary message on your Pixel, but just using the volume keys and the power button to select, unlock the bootloader and press the power button to accept. This will wipe your device, so when it has restarted, you'll need to skip through the initial device setup process and then re-enable USB debugging so that we can enter Fastboot again. With your device remaining plugged into your computer, enter the command prompt again using the CMD command and then type ADB Reboot Bootloader once all of that process has been completed. Ensure that you have zipped the Android 11 OTA files directly into the platform tools folder and not into any subfolders. Now in your command prompt window, enter flash-all to start the process of flashing your Android 11 build. This process will take a couple of minutes. During this time, do not close the window or unplug your device. Leave it until you get a message confirming that the process has finished and that you can press at any key to enter. Unfortunately, your pixel will be wiped again, so you'll need to re-skip through the process and re-enable USB debugging so that we can lock the bootloader and therefore you can get future OTA push updates. Follow that process again and reopen your command prompt window within platform tools so that we can relock the bootloader by entering fastboot flashing unlock. On your pixel, you will need to use the volume keys to scroll to lock the bootloader and press the power button to accept. This will restore the device once more, but from here you can reboot and voila, your device should now be running a stable Android 11 build. It's also worth noting that this process can be used to downgrade Android versions for example, from Android 11 to Android 10 or Android 10 to Android Pi, provided your device has had a build from each specific release. Although again, we do not recommend this as it will introduce potential security risks and then more issues on top. So hopefully that helped you if you wanted to go back to a stable build from the Android 12 developer preview. If you have any questions, then be sure to pop them down below. Thanks for watching this Android Basics video, here to help you get the most from your Android device.